Hello guys, welcome back to Supersonic Flyer, a single platform for all details about AME, and also welcome to this new playlist on AME modules. In this playlist we will be discussing all about AME modules. So subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon, so that you never miss an update. Let's get started with our topic. Modulate basic aerodynamics. Atmosphere plays an important role in study of aerodynamics. Aerodynamics is a study of how air travels around something moving through it. The interaction between a moving object, that is aircraft and the atmosphere is the primary interest in this module. Watch it till the end to understand it better, and ask your doubts in comments section. Today we are going to discuss about 8.1 physics of atmosphere. Earth's atmosphere can be divided into five main layers. Excluding the exosphere, the atmosphere has four primary layers, which are the troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, and thermosphere. As you all know, that aircraft operates in air. The air in the Earth's atmosphere is mainly composed of nitrogen and oxygen. Therefore, properties of air that affect the control and performance of an aircraft. In this submodule physics of atmosphere we are going to discuss about pressure, density, humidity, temperature, and altitude. First let's get started with pressure. Atmospheric pressure is usually defined as the force exerted against the Earth's surface by the weight of the air above that surface. F equals to AP. That means force F equals to area A times pressure P. The weight of air is heaviest at sea level, where it has been compressed by all of the above. Thus atmospheric pressure at sea level is 14.7 psi pounds per square inch. As an aircraft go up or climb atmospheric pressure drops, the quantity of oxygen decreases and temperature drops. These changes in altitude affect aircraft performance such as lift and engine. Atmospheric pressure decreases with increasing altitude. Atmospheric pressure is measured with an instrument called a barometer composed of mercury in a tube that record atmospheric pressure in inches of mercury hg. Then coming to the density. Density is a word we use to describe how much space an object or substance takes up, its volume, in relation to the amount of matter in that object or substance, its mass. Another way to put it is, that density is the amount of mass per unit of volume. If an object is heavy and compact, it has a high density. Thus air at higher altitude is less dense than air at low altitudes, and a mass of hot air is less dense than a mass of cool air. An aircraft can fly faster at higher altitudes, where the air density is low than at lower altitude where the and its density is greater this is, because there offers less resistance to the aircraft, when it contains smaller number of particles per unit of volume. Coming to humidity. Humidity is the amount of water vapor present in the air. The maximum amount of water vapor that air can hold varies with the temperature. The higher the temperature of the air, the more water vapor it can absorb. There are two types of humidity. Absolute humidity is the weight of water vapor present in a unit volume of air. Relative humidity is the amount of water vapor present in air expressed as a percentage of the amount needed for saturation at the same temperature. Increase in humidity of air is usually linked with an increase in temperature. Air expands on heating up, and thus density decreases. On wet days the air density is less than on dry days for this reason and aircraft requires a longer runway for takeoff on wet days than it does on dry days. The air available for combustion of engine is less dense, so air with low density contains less total oxygen to combine with fuel. Thus aircraft performance decreases. Coming to temperature and altitude. Most civil aviation takes place in the troposphere in which temperature decreases as altitude increases. The troposphere is the lowest layer of the atmosphere on average it ranges from the Earth's surface to about 38,000 feet above it. For every thousand feet of increase in altitude the rates of change of temperature increases at about minus 2 degrees Celsius, or minus 3.5 degree Fahrenheit. As temperature increases air density decreases. The upper boundary of the troposphere is a tropopause. Stratosphere lies above the tropopause. Temperature increase with altitude in stratosphere to near zero degrees, before decreasing again in mesosphere, which lies above it. The stratosphere contains the ozone layer, that protects the Earth's inhabitants from harm for love rays. Some civilian flights and numerous military flights occurs in the stratosphere. Coming to the last topic, but not the least. International Standard Atmosphere. 
the atmosphere is never at rest. Pressure, temperature, humidity, and density are continuously changing. So to avoid the confusion, the International Civil Aviation Organization, International Organization for Standardization and various governments established and published standard values of temperature, pressure and density, the values known as the International Standard Atmosphere. That's it for this sub-module stay tuned for more videos. If you have any questions, then comment below in comment section. If you find the video interesting and informative then please like the video, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe Supersonic Flyer.